What's up, YouTube? Danny B and H guy. I just got back from the Goodwill Hudson, New Hampshire. And today's Friday, and I got the day off, guys. Um, I spent one hundred twelve dollars seventy five cents. That was after five dollar off coupon and a twenty five percent discount, guys. So, yeah, thank God for the discount and the coupon. Um, I saved forty one dollars and twenty five cents, guys. So, uh, I got there first. And I got through the door first, and I found some good stuff today, guys. So uh, let's get into this. First up, I found these on the way out. These are women's Nike Air Max shoes. And um, they have a little bit of staining on there in the toe box area, guys. But I think these will sell. Um, these are size 6.5, so very small, guys. But... Um, Hopefully these things eventually sell for about 35 bucks, maybe 40 if I can get them clean. So get that. I found these new new old stock Sony speaker system guys for for the Sony Walkman. And um, yeah, yeah, guys, I picked this up. This was less than three bucks. Um, I think these are selling between 25 and 35 dollars, guys. So. Uh, Nice little find right there. Um, this right here, guys, is pretty special. This is a Con Air True Glow um, relaxing heated booties for your feet. And there's nothing like this on uh, online at all, guys. Nothing on eBay. Um, it's sold out on Walmart. I paid up for this, but I think it's about eight bucks after the discount. And um, this originally was selling for $69.99. So I opened up the box and everything's brand new, but I'm gonna sell it as new open box. And I'm probably gonna put it on auction for 69 bucks and um, see where it goes, guys. So nice little find right there, I think. So uh, let's get into the clothing, guys. I got a bunch of uh, good stuff today. This right here is pretty sweet. This is the Polo Ralph Lauren men's um, featherweight um, polo shirt guys with Hawaiian Hawaiian uh, Halua dancers guys so uh, these sell somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks uh, depends on which one you have guys but um yeah yeah that's a beautiful shirt look at that so uh yeah I'm probably gonna um probably start at about 40 bucks but I'll get to have to see if there's anything quite like this but um yeah, beautiful shirt right there, guys. I don't pick up all Polo Ralph Lauren, but if it's something special, I'll pick it up. That's a nice little find, guys. Um, right here is a, uh, a NASA hoodie pullover. And it's got a big graphic on the back, guys. Kennedy Space Center. And this is going to have... Um, I think it's got some stains on here, so I'm going to have to pre-treat it. But... Um, yeah, I've been slowing down on the NASA stuff because it hasn't been selling good, but this seems pretty unique. And um, because there's big graphic on the back, I think someone's going to buy this eventually, guys, after I clean it up. So um, hopefully about $35, $40 bucks for that, guys. Next up is a nice little find. Um, this is another one of those Duluth Trading Company uh, men's fleece insulated fleece red checkered jacket shirt heavy heavy duty right here guys and these sell for decent prices um i think these are going between 40 and 50 bucks at least if not more and yeah, this one's in great shape let's get to pull up the lengths and the hairs two extra large so that's a very good size guys um it's in good shape so yeah hopefully uh between 40 and 50 bucks for that, guys. Next up is this uh, fleece pullover by Hard Rock Cafe. And um, I've been laying low on the Hard Rock Cafe because it doesn't really sell good for me. But this one's Hard Rock Cafe Myrtle Beach. Embroidered heavy fleece right here, guys. Men's fleece. I think it's the two extra large. Yep, two extra large, so a very good size. It's probably donated by this guy right here. But, uh, yeah, guys. 
So that's a nice little find right there. Hopefully, um, 35, 40 bucks. Next up, I wish this shirt was my size, guys. Um, this is, uh, I had to look this up. This is vintage. It's called Street Culture. Men's button-down shirt. This is like Miami Vice style, guys. Let's get the palm trees. Um, definitely pretty cool shirt right here, guys. Um, men's size large. And here's the tag. Street style. Um, there's some good uh, seals on this brand, guys. Um, and I'm going to shoot for about 25 30 bucks on this shirt. Hopefully I get that. So Next up was a cool find right here. And there's only like one of these on eBay, but it was a different style. This is called Ice Wear by Ice T. So Ice T, the rapper, the movie star, the uh, TV star. He, uh, he had some clothing. And um, this is one of his shirts, guys. And I believe this is vintage. And it's pretty cool. It's got the, uh, it's got the logo all over the shirt. Let's get the all over logo print. There's a tag. So Ice T came out with clothing, guys. So I picked that up. Hopefully it eventually sells someday. Here's a nice little shirt. Um, I really don't buy this brand often, but sometimes I do. This is Izod. And this is a, I believe, a vintage Izod sweater, guys. Men's sweater. And... There's, uh, I think there was like 1,500 of these online or 1,200 and there was like 1,000 sales. So they definitely sell. Um, I think this pattern's pretty good. I'm hoping. It's like a nice geometric pattern, guys. And hopefully I can get 30, between 30 and 40 bucks for this. Men's size large. So pick that up. Next on deck is a Puma men's... Pol uh, polo golf shirt purple stripe I think that's purple that's yeah, either purple or gray nothing fancy but um, I think I can get about $21, $22 for this guys it's in really good shape and uh, size is this size 2 extra large so I found a lot of 2XLs today guys the bigger the better this here, guys, is a uh, L-RL Lauren Active Ralph Lauren men's embroidered t-shirt. And uh, this is brown with stripes. And um, I've sold this tag before in the past, so I picked it up again. And it's got the embroidered logo on the front, like I said. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, the size tag is not there. Looks like it's missing, but um, that looks like a size large. I'll have to do some measurements. Hopefully uh, between 21 and 23 bucks for this, I'm guessing. This here, this shirt's got a stain, I remember, when I saw it. This is a uh, Majestic Boston Red Sox Mike Lowell t-shirt. And it's got a stain on the front, which I'm going to have to pre-treat. And uh, it's a nice big size. Um... I believe and I think the size tag is gone too guys that's two in a row but um yeah that looks like a two extra large I'm gonna do some measurements on it but it looks like a two extra large guys and uh, this should sell between 25 and 30 bucks so pick that up I saw this last time I went but I decided to buy it this time this is a Taco Bell Hoodie, full zip, hoodie pullover. And um, nothing fancy, but it's got Taco Bell on the on the sleeve. And uh, up on the front. And believe it or not, Taco Bell stuff sells pretty good, guys. This is a size small, so uh, hopefully I can squeeze 25 bucks out of this. I found this on the way out. I checked the ladies' uh, jackets and coats. And I have to do some research on this. I don't know if this is vintage. Probably isn't. But uh, this is a Levi's women's jean jacket. And this is a size small, guys. 
And uh, yeah, I'm taking a little gamble on this, but I think this will sell. It's made in it's made in India. I think it's yeah. I think it's made in India, guys. And um, I don't know how to tell if they're vintage or not. I'm not too familiar with Levi's, but it's Levi's. It's denim. It's a women's size small. Hopefully, I get over 25 bucks for this, guys. This here is a uh, MLB Genuine Merchandise G3 Sports by Carl Banks. Men's Pullover Windbreaker, Boston Red Sox. And uh, this seems to be in good shape. And it's by, uh, when you see the Carl Banks, you want to pick it up. So uh, hopefully uh, close to 30 bucks for this, guys, I'm guessing. Next up is a uh, cool shirt right here. This is, I have to look this up. This is a Reebok size large Boston Bruins caricature men's t shirt, guys. And um, yeah, this has some stains on the back. I'll have to pre treat this. But uh, yeah, when, whenever you see an animated team like that, guys, you probably want to pick it up. So, uh, I'll have to look this up, but hopefully this sells for like 25 bucks eventually. And I'm going to put this in the free tree pile, guys. Next up, yeah, guys, I looked this up. There's some crazy sales on this, guys. This is a Umbro Soccer Guatemala men's soccer jersey, guys. And the Umbro Guatemala jerseys can sell between 50 and 70 bucks, guys. And, uh... I'm just looking this one over. I don't know if there's any. Yeah, I think I think I see a couple little marks on it. So I'm gonna pre-treat this. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna start it at 50 bucks on auction. After I clean it up, hopefully there's no holes. I just see a few spots, guys. So I'm gonna try to clean it up as best as I can. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely taking chances on these soccer jerseys, but I think I'm gonna figure it out and they'll start paying off, guys. I saw this last time I was there, but I didn't pick it up. This is the shirt that I was talking about in the last video. Um, this is by, uh, what's it called? Saks Fifth Avenue, guys. This is a men's old school Mr. Rogers sweater right here, guys. And I think that's like a V-neck. And um, yeah, this brand's got some good sales. Saks Fifth Avenue. And this is vintage. And I think the reason why I didn't buy it, it's got some pilling on the back. But um, I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. But I want to be really careful with it. I don't want to put a hole in it. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, between 30 and 40 bucks for this, guys. Nice vintage sweater. Right here's a Nike Dry Fit uh, men's t-shirt. And I've been laying low on the Nike Dry Fits because I have too many and they're not selling that good right now. But uh, I think the secret is um, you got to go for big sizes. And um, this is a good size. This is a men's size two extra large. And um, you know what? I might try this one on and see if it fits me. If it fits me good, I might keep it. We'll see. Because I think I have one in black. That's just a hair right there. I think I have one in black, but I don't have one in gray. <clears throat> so I might put this to the side, guys, and um, try this on for myself. I get another hard good. I found these Maxell cassette tapes, and these these are the 120 minutes. Uh, this is another thing I've, I've learned in the past few years that uh, the 90 minute tapes they don't really sell that well. You got to go for 120 and above, and. Um, Nothing crazy on these. I think these are selling for like $15, guys, but uh, it was less than three bucks, so I picked it up. I found this uh, Vineyard Vines men's polo shirt. This is brand new with tags. Original price, $75. Um, another men's, two extra large. So new with tags, Vineyard Vines, 2XL. I'll have to do some comps on this, but. Um, I should be able to get at least 30 bucks of this, maybe 35. Brand new attacks. And um, last up, oh, 
I got two more things. Another soccer jersey, guys, and this is by Adidas, and this is the uh, Colombian Day Football Mexican or Brazilian soccer jersey, guys. And um, I looked this up, and this is selling for pretty decent price, also. I think I should be able to get at least 25 bucks for this, guys. <clears throat> this is Adidas Clima Light, and I'm gonna have to pre treat it. Size small. So uh, taking a little gamble on that, but hopefully that eventually sells. Last up, I went by the blankets again, guys. The blankets and towels. And I found this vintage blanket, and it's actually got the date, and, uh, the dates embroidered into the blanket. If I can uh, only find it. I know I saw it when I bought it. Here it is. Um, this is... It says MWW 1990. My bird's being really loud downstairs. So this is from 1990, guys. And it's got like, I think it's got hearts and it's got houses on it. So, let's see if I can open it up. Yeah, it's got the tag right here. Let's see if my scissors, my scissors are over here, guys. We cut this tag so we can open it up see what it does so this is vintage 1990 blanket and um yeah guys i think it's pretty cool it's got some uh townhouses or houses in it it's got some hearts vintage and um it's reversible so i think I think this will sell to somebody, guys, and um, I'm going to have to look it up and see. Uh, I didn't look it up at all, but I just noticed the, the date on here, and um, it's in decent shape. I think someone's going to buy it, guys, so hopefully hopefully over 40 bucks for this, and um, yeah, not too bad, guys. So I'm glad I had the day off. I'm glad I got there first, and it paid off, so we'll talk soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.